Hello everyone, only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. On uh, today's tutorial, we're going to be showing how to use the Super Sound Muffler to remove or block different sounds within the game. Uh, sometimes there are different sounds that can be loud, maybe automated machines that you have running in your uh, work area, uh, maybe sounds of weather such as rain, and those are sounds you'd rather not have because they can be loud, they can be annoying, um, and you don't want to turn off music or all sounds in the game. Uh, so this way we're going to kind of show how to pick and choose specific ones. Uh, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like, but most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. So there are two different versions of the Super Sound Muffler. The first one we're going to look at is very easy to make. It is one note block and four blocks of wool. That's going to give you a Super Sound Muffler. If you do a search, you'll see that there's another Super Sound Muffler, same name, but looks a little bit different. In this one, you take the Super Sound Muffler we just showed how to make and add that to three pieces of string. And now you have a Super Sound Muffler that you can carry with you and worn as a bauble, like the different charms within the game. So let's go ahead and show how to work those. So I have a chest here. So I pull these items out. If you listen, I open up the chest. That's the sound of a chest opening. That's the sound we're going to get rid of. It's how to turn that off. So what you do is you take your super sound muffler and you place it wherever you want it to be. We're going to set it right there. So the super sound muffler, a little note block with a note sound above it, just kind of floats but stays in that one spot. When you right click on it, it opens up the menu. Now you can choose to whitelist specific noises or blacklist specific noises. You can also choose what the range is. So right now it's eight blocks from where I have the muffler. You can go all the way down to one or all the way up to 256. Within that range, anytime the sound you choose is triggered, it will be muffled. So let's go ahead and say blacklist because we want to turn off the sound of a chest. So if you click add, it pulls up the majority of the different sounds within the game. There's a lot of them to go through. Fortunately, there's a little search bar down here that we can use to type in chest, and it'll show different things. Minecraft block chest close, locked sound, open, ender chest, donkey chest. There's different things in the game. So we're going to choose block chest open. Once we click on that, we click add, and now we can see it's been added to our block list. If I was to switch that to whitelist, this would be the only sound that you'd hear in that area. But blacklist will keep the chest sound from working. Let's go over here and right click on it. As you saw, there was no sound there. Still closes because I didn't block the closing sound, just the open. We'll do it one more time. And it's silent. So now within the range that I've set, the sound on my chosen, chosen block list will not be triggered. So again, there's a lot of different ones in there you can do. Um, a very popular one is to stop the weather. Uh, rain can be very loud, especially if there's thunderstorms and such. You can go ahead and you can look up a lot of those different sounds and add them to your list. There's lightning and thunder. I could add that onto my list. So now, chest opening and lightning and thunder will no longer make noises. So again, you can kind of play with this and add different sounds in different areas. If you have any type of automated system that makes a large amount of noise, uh, if you have something like a wither killer designed or mob farm, it's a great way of making that sound a lot quieter for you. Now the second one we have is the Super Sound Muffler. The Super Sound Muffler is the exact same idea and concept, except this one can be worn as a bobble. So when we right click it in our hand, it opens up the same menu, blacklist or whitelist, and then click add, and we can take that chosen noise. So if I was to choose, say, rain here, I was to add that, and I was to add thunder, Now, since that's blacklisted, anywhere that I go where there's rain or there's thunder and lightning, I will not hear that noise. It's going to be completely muffled for me in all areas. It does take up a bobble slot, but if you're not using a lot of the bobbles, handy one to have if you just want to get rid of noises that may ir be irritating you wherever you are. Um, but that's really all that's involved with this. A great little handy thing that you can throw down to, to really make things a lot quieter in the game, uh, especially if you have a lot of things, animal sounds and such in a specific area. But either one of these are relatively easy to make, and you don't have to be too far into the game in Sky Factory to be able to make. 
But that is going to do us for this video. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to throw those down in the comments and I'll try my best to get back with you as quickly as possible. Um, also, if you have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4, please throw those down there as well always looking for new ideas or suggestions. You can also submit a direct suggestion on my website, onlydraven.com. But that's going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.